cartwheels can be super spectacular and I'm going to show you some top tips on how to make your cartwheel super neat and super special. So we're going to start at the beginning and the beginning stages of a cartwheel is being able to transfer weight on your hands across a line. So you can see here Daisy's jumping her feet from side to side whilst moving her hands forwards. We call this a bunny hop. And with more confidence, they can then jump a little bit higher and jump their feet up, as Lillian's showing us. So once you've mastered the bunny hops, we're then going to go on and introduce a slightly higher block, or you can even use a small beam. And here you can see that we're starting to incorporate the straddle position that we need in the cartwheel. So Daisy's going to show us. She points her foot out. Her hands go down onto the block. And she goes round the side. And that's the beginning of a cartwheel. That's it. Over you go. Very good. And Lillian? Yep. And they're very good first attempts. It may not look like that on your first attempt, but with practice, you'll definitely get there. Now you're confident going over a raised platform, it's going to be about taking the platform away and trying on your own. So let's see Daisy. She's got a lovely stretch to begin with. Nice fingers too. Nice straight legs and a nice stretch at the end. Very nice. Having a cartwheel that goes in a straight line is also the best way to do it. So when you've got really good at your cartwheels, you can then move on to different variations of cartwheels. Now don't forget, these girls have learned them in a safe gym, so I wouldn't recommend trying them at home. Sophie's here with a round off. Lillian with a one-handed cartwheel. And Daisy with a no-handed cartwheel. So it's not easy for everybody, but just keep taking those little steps and it will become easy one day.